morning everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a battle on the Muravanka map, a standard battle, and I'm in the new Russian premium TD, the SU 130PM, which is currently a rental out to community contributors, moderators and others, and um, is also the prize for the, um, the winter challenge. So, uh, we're just going to show you some aspects of the tank, um, a little bit of gameplay um, this tank, hopefully not too boring, it's not a high game, but I just want to show what you can do as the low tier tank in a uh, tier 8 to 10 battle, um, in terms of um, yeah, getting a good, good result for your tank. So, we're just taking up initial position in this bush, uh, waiting for the heavy tanks to move up as uh, a Type 5 heavy, and E75 has already moved up into that um, centre lane uh, in the two hills, which is a stronghold position, and is uh, a good result for us as it will sort of deny the enemy, even though it's the um, Tier 9 tank. Um, it's already taken a little bit of damage, but uh, now we see there's a Centurion AX Tier 10 medium on the hill. We don't really have a side shot at him in his turret, which uh, is probably going to bounce. Um, so we don't take a shot there. And we just stay in position. We don't want to get lit. Um, one of the aspects of this tank destroyer is it's paper armour, so the um, plan most of the time is really to stay on the edge of the view circles, uh, abuse the vision mechanics, and um, take shots as you find them. Um, so in this particular game, we'll, we'll just uh, watch what happens in case anyone pushes up here. That's why I'm not moving too far forward at this point. So we're just waiting now while they're um, searching out the enemy. The um, forest has been taken, so it looks like a fairly passive play from the enemy side. Uh, we'll just again just um, keep our position here until the Type 5 Heavy moves forward. Uh, he's also not playing very forward. There's an Indian Panzer behind him, um, which uh, is, I think, suffering from thinking he's a medium in a uh, low tier medium in a high tier game. Uh, scores are even now, and uh, here we go. The Centurion AX is spotted up on top again. No shot offered. So we'll just hold our fire. There's a T 34 in the um, middle of the town. And uh, finally, they spot some more tanks um, in terms of the Martian. So again, no shot there, blocked by the um, the hill. And the 75 takes out that T34. Must have been in a fairly exposed position. So the tanks are starting to push down the um, the zero line. Hopefully, that will tie up the enemy a bit on that side. Our tanks are starting to push forward a little bit. So we'll just again keep an eye on who they spot. If there's no one being spotted, then we'll take the opportunity to move forward, which is um, what we do now. So I'm just going to move forward again to put the tanks as they are um, on the edge of our view circle. There's a bush up here uh, with a small hut next to it, which will give us some visual protection. But the hut itself is um, a breakable building, so one shot into it will destroy it, which means there's no real cover from it, and AP might go through it. But nonetheless, the uh, main aim here is still to say um, unobserved. So no damage done yet. Um, we're about four, about three minutes into the game. So again, we're just looking for the enemy tanks putting themselves into potentially side shots for us. That's why we're out here on the side. Then we spot the F the 4202 that bounces off his turret. So the British tanks have got a reputation for fairly hard turrets. Now he does offer his side at that point, but because of the long reload on this gun, which is about 11 seconds, uh, that's an opportunity missed. So the Type 5 takes a bit of damage, and we've still got a lot of hit points. And again, we're just waiting for um, the opportunity to get side shots. So we are in that now fairly advanced position. It's still not really halfway down the map yet, but we just don't know what's in front of us. If we move a little too far forward, we could be exposed. So we see the mountain there. We move back into a better position. Take a not a fully aimed shot, which does go in there, however. Um, 
and shows again the sort of alpha that this gun can do, which is sort of averaging around 500 ish uh, top rollers in low 600s. We see the V4202 and get a shot into his side. It's just shell velocity is about a thousand meters a second. It's got a little bit of a curve down on it, um, which is sort of how we got into his side. So the mountain's there, isn't it? Shot offering more than angles at this point, so I'll just take a opportunistic shot as he goes behind the bushes. Um, you can see that just bounces off. Now the Centurion AX, the tier 10 medium, starts to push forward. And uh, again, we just hold our shot until we've got something on him. In case he's coming straight at us. So we put a shot in. We do get spotted and we pull back behind cover, but I think they're not paying attention. So he's taken a hit, he's down on nearly 300 now. Even less than that, we finish him off. So it takes that tier 10 medium out of the game. So the FV4202 is also pushed up and he's doing a bit of damage there. Um, we're just trying to get a shot on him. Nothing really comes forward, so we're going to change and try and move into that area to support the tanks there. But as we do that, he gets taken out. Uh, the Martian's the next target, so we're going to stay on the side. He gets taken out by the Conqueror. So we're going to push forward right into the corner now. Um, there's a tank destroyer, or two tank destroyers, and an artillery. Uh, so we're just going to try and either provide vision to other tanks or get opportunities ourselves to um, take it. So as we get there, the, um, the Chinese uh, tier 8 tank destroyer gets lit and the GW Tiger P, they both get destroyed fairly quickly. Uh, we take a shot at the Wheezy, but um, too late for that, so now we, we think that Grill 15 might be in the corner. And we're still on full hit points, so uh, we're going to try and go straight for that location and see if we can get a last shot in. So there he appears right in front of us. He hits us for just over 700, and we take him out uh, with one shot. That's the game. Um, good win, uh, good play by the whole team really to, to push on all sides and get it forward. Um, but if we have a look at the results, the um, you can see the results here. We've got both the top damage amongst all the tanks and we've got the top experience. And that again, that's a feature of playing a low tier tank in a high tier game is that as you do damage to tier 10s or you know, tanks two tiers above you, you get extra experience. So not a, not a huge result, it's only a class three mastery badge. Uh, but we do get a medal for killing two tier 10 tanks uh, in a tank destroyer. Um, and that gives us some additional bonds as well, which is a good result. So thanks for watching and uh, come back to the channel in the future for more content. Cheerio.